Oh my God! Hi guys! You welcome back to the Darius Zone channel, the new live stream on Commodore Deluxe, Commodore Deluxe image, and that was the new splash screen made by the great Franco Frankie, and it, he how done himself with this new splash screen. Hello, press play on tape. Uh, you have a, a nickname that fits the <laughs> that fits the concept. I want to see again this flash is so good. Oh my god, it's fantastic. Now is our choice. Oh my god. <laughs> Spectacular with the basic screen. <laughs> so this is the the intro of the image. Siamo, we roll in. Look this. Splash Queen Armilla, it's so cool! <laughs> and the music, you recognize the music? The remix of the Ocean Loader. Oh, yes, bravo, bravo. Che te lo dica fare. Okay, basta. Fantastic Splash Queen. Props to Franco Frankie for this little gem. Arbolo Base. Fantastic, so good. This just introduced some um, very sweet taste in my mouth and in my mind to enjoy this Commodore image and there's some new uh, new stuff added around um, 150 games for Commodore 64. So the overall number of Commodore 64 games is uh, 450. So a lot of games to explore and revive and enjoy. Oh yes, I, I also like a uh, Commodore only image because I like uh, all this environment uh, completely dedicated to the Commodore on a uh, um, various system, multi-system image is a little odd to have uh, the, the Commodore 64 team with all the console, but uh, with only Commodore machine is uh, super fascinating. And I made the, the, the custom team to, to look uh, closer to um, the, the 64 OS. It's similar. And I've added this sound, this effect. I got this effect from the Commodore libraries, so it's accurate. If you don't like the effect, you can disable here. And it disabled. The background music is always disabled because I cannot uh, show on the streams. But remember, you have it, uh, and uh, it, it will be enabled by default. I like this sound. And the background music is governed by this option. Here you can enable or disable the background player, 
and this visual player on the uh, right upper right side of the screen you you will see the the, the name of the, the the track name and there's an, around uh, more than one 100 of uh, remi remix just like uh, the the one you you listened on the intro all remixed by from um, tunes by Rob Abbard and Martin Galway, the, the, the masterminds of the Commodore era, even Amiga, Amiga. So, oh, thank you, Romila. I like this sound. It's very retro. And uh, it's a uh, fit well with the music also. Okay, so <clears throat> you know I show all the the development development of the image and every live stream. So this is uh, basically is done. All the artworks are set, and uh, we are more than six thousand of games. 6501 games overall and the artworks are all set this was a, a little a little short to set to reset all the artworks especially for the new Commodore 64 games I bet so the artwork should be on the right place the Amiga um, AGA is um, on his own and is a standalone And tonight I have a new camera. I hope the, the audio should be a little better. Let, we'll see later. And the image should be a little better too. Let's try to set the frame a little. It seems a little. Hmm, okay. Sempre meglio, sempre meglio. Let's play. Just play. Okay, what games you want to... See tonight. I'm open to suggestions. There's uh, also a, a personal collection I've uh, made, but is still in progress. Is there? Is the DZ collection? But um, I have to decide some games to add. I will add, will add all of the the best games of my childhood. Your mileage may be different, but. For example, I've added some uh, PRG5 files, which should work uh, similar to the cartridge files. So you you may see some uh, double entries than the normal one and the PRG one, like uh, for example, Rambo 2. I love them. <laughs> I love this sound. Okay, Rambo 2. And this is PRG file. It's new file type. It was not uh, working on Vice before, but it works now. It's very interesting because there are there's a lot of releases on this file format. Let's try together. Together, Rambo 2 Super Classic. The music, guys, the music. You see, it's fast. I 
don't know if it's, it's this. Uh, um, it, that one is one of uh, those games that require the use of the space, the space bar. There's a trainer, of course. Okay, that should be a good example to enjoy uh, the um, the controls, the keyboard controls mapped on the gamepad. The music. Blue Base asked for the X220 AGA. It was not working before, I was not aware. We'll take a look later. That's the, the last version of Femi Berry. So. Okay, remember you have to to add your name at the beginning. Very original, not not at the end of the game, but at the beginning. Okay, super hard game. She started immediately in the hell, bullets hell. Okay, with the fire you, you throw the the knives, the knives, knives, knives. And I remember you have to press the, the space bar to change the weapons. You have the knights, uh, the knights, and um, the explosive hero, if I remember. Okay, you see, I have uh, mapped the space, the, the, the space bar on the uh, X button. And you see the change. I can change the weapon with my gamepad and get rid completely of the keyboard this is the future the nostalgia is old but the technology is new <laughs> oh my god so hard Speaking between us, I also think this game sucks. <laughs> Even at the time, it sucks, but this game has one of the best soundtrack of all time. So, <laughs> like uh, some Commodore games, the music was way superior than the product. <laughs> Okay, I have these two types of uh, explosive heroes. Enemy's gone? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I feel so alone. <laughs> I'm sure what is, what is, what is happening, the, the, the enemies are Okay, I think I have to... No? Oh, you do! <laughs> Eccoli! Fermi, fermi! It's not to walk in the park. Well, I think the game just... Stand like five minutes, ten minutes. You can complete the game in ten minutes. <laughs> okay, and this was Rambo on PRG. È meglio la musica del gioco assolutamente. Ma che ci vuoi fare? Avevamo Ci accontentavamo di grandi musiche. Another game that it was not so good 
to be honest, but uh, I was loved so much. The arcade and even that one had a great music. The Rust and conversion for the Commodore. And the yesterday I have some uh, problem we issue with the Pacmania. If you follow it, uh, it was not Pacmania but a clone. Um, so I even fixed it and added the, the correct game. And I have to say the Pacmania is a fantastic porting. Effects or music. Let's go with music. Do you remember how to start the game? Maybe I need to change the port. Not sure, but yes, it was on port two. Just always remember to change the port if the game does work. Another super hard game. And uh, I remember I loved the, the cover of the box art of this game with the, the artwork. I don't remember the artist, but... The music is great. <laughs> There's also a fantastic uh, remix of Rastan uh, on the background music set. Okay, this was Rastan in sax. Yes, the artwork was so great. Let me adjust the frame I want. Okay, it's better. This fucking frame. The frame is sempre, sempre storto il frame, porca puttana. Oh, yeah. Guarda che camerina ho stasera. Vai. Move on. So, I don't remember the new games I've added. The, the, there's... It should be... Um, a shooter based on Grandizer, it's Goldrake in Italy and the Europe. It should be a game made on Show Them Up. It's call it Goldrake. Maybe or probably is a European game because it's Grandizer. Grandizer in Japan. And I think in USA too, not sure. But it's Goldrake in Italia, sicuramente Goldrake. The fantastic 70s Robo Robo Super Robo series by Dona Guy. I'm a little curious. California Games, just type the, the games you want on chat.
let's see let's see where it where it goes it's a trainer fucking trainer <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I, I recognize the the show the map construction kit, fantastic tool, utility to make uh, shooters on the Commodore 64. <laughs> oh my god, it sucks. The sprite is old. It's supposed to be the 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 the, the UFO. The Goldrake and you UFO asset. I don't think so. <laughs> My God, this <is> terrible. <laughs> okay, it's terrible. But I have Plan B. Still uh, on the same topic, the Ma Mazinger Mazinger game is a demo. That should be more better, more better. Mazinger Z, Mazinger Z. This is a cartridge game, is a demo, unfinished game. If if there, I hope there's not music and video, but I don't think so. In, let's skip the intro. Game start. That should be interesting, let's see. Chapter one, stop Baron, Baron Ashler. See, I, I see, I, I recognize the music of the, the show <laughs> and even the enemies. Okay, this is cool. And those should be the very first two enemies of uh, the, the series, the, the cartoon. The, the creature with two heads. And the robotic one. Listen the music. <laughs> Rochetto punch. I lost my punch. Rochetto punch is back. Rocket Punch to, on the show he, he said Rocketto, Rocketto Punch Laser but Mazinga Mazinga has a laser I don't remember the the the, the eye laser is too violent no I, I was a fan of a great Mazinger, not Mazinger Z Z. -Z. Mazinger Z sucks. Rocketto Punch. I want a great Mazinger. Con la spada diabolica. I have no idea what's going on on screen. <laughs> it seems a little, a little messy. The graphic is incredible. But it's a fun game. Just appreciate the effort.
basta. He an annoyed me, it's not too fun, but it's cool. Hi Raul, guys! I can't see the chat, no idea who, who, who joined it. a droid! Tom Gellert! Blue base. Master Tronic, did, did you saw the, the, the splash screen? Figurati, caro Brown, è un piacere, soprattutto con una community come questa, sempre pronta all'aiuto e al supporto morale anche un po' fisico. So tell me the games you want to see. Damn. I can see shit. All right, you make. Uh, that is a good uh, suggestion, but uh, it's not working anymore. I no idea what's going on. Maybe they fix it with the last version of Amiberry, but uh, uh, for the moment I removed all the um, HDF files, so I don't have the, the Riger game. There's only the LHA files. If um, if they work, I can bring them back. There's no problem. But I have only the the WHD load set, which is mostly legit games. There's some. Um, Summer releases game, but just around uh, 10 20 games, not more. And uh, Pac Mania, look at this game, it's fantastic porting of uh, from um, Grand Slam. Okay, we'll talk later about that. If you have some cool files, let me know. <sighs> or just uh, upload on, on the Z server, you know. I recognize this music. Let's see if you recognize this music. And if you recognize that, you are a very terminal Commodorean. No, it's too hard. I remember because I played this game. Uh, act actually, I played this game on um, those d d days Rec recently. For myself, play this game for hours yesterday. It's what so good. Yes. And Eras, Eras, Eras. Hike score save. Reset. There's also a night, um, night graphic style which it made the game very similar to Spectrum. The X Spectrum. Look at what they made with this port, it's incredible. Outstanding graphics. I like this more than the arcade and even the Amiga version, I don't know why, it seems more playable to me.
He can jump. La ragione per cui non faccio rispondo a, a chi me l'ha chiesto. La ragione per cui non faccio immagini con Batosera è perché c'è sempre qualcosa che non mi torna. È un fantastico front end, ma c'è sempre qualcosa che mi fa storcere il naso, per cui ci rinuncio sempre. Magari un giorno arriveranno a un livello di maturità tale ma per ora no retropie retropie rimane sempre la base migliore per lavorare non c'è niente da fare non c'è niente da fare I love Batosera, but um, it's closed system and uh, there's too many problems. Uh, build an image with uh, some uh, ambitious um, image with some scopes is uh, hard and the emulator scenario is a uh, is a little freak at time for example the The, this is Vice uh, 3.3 version, the last version, but the very last version of this emulator doesn't have anymore the option tab, I don't know why, so you cannot uh, map the uh, the keyboard, the, the, the keyboard uh, buttons on gamepad. If the Batocera guys uh, uh, bump the last version, you are skewed because you cannot uh, mm, install the emulator you want into the front end and you cannot re reverse to a previous version so this is uh... it's too limited in that sense I must have full control on the emulator and uh, on the assets, otherwise uh, it's a chore. Fantastic game, Pac-Mania. Let's play this game, Outrun. Outrun a cartridge version. Let's see if you Outrun aged well after all these years.
crack screen, crack screen everywhere. Escono dalle fottute pareti. No, you can't select the, the stage. I don't remember. I don't remember that. The great music splash wave and I think I have to change the port again. You cannot even change the port because this this menu is totally removed. I seriously hope this is a, a bug of the uh, last uh, source version of uh, Vice because uh, otherwise a giant mess. Magical sound shower. I don't want the, the, the manual sheep. This is terrible. <laughs> I remember when I, I bought this game, it was included uh, an audio tape with fantastic music. I think it was uh, a little trick by US, US Gold to to sell us this this POS <laughs> because this porting is terrible. Let's try all the Sega games. I want to try the Space Area. Game over. Basta. Not good. Not good. It's not aged well, this version. Maybe the two boat run is better. The two boat one, the two boat, two boat run, I remember, and crazy amount of loadings. This is CRT version, so it's better to to write the CRT, to rule the CRT. CR. I'm on dark. I can't see shit on my keyboard. Okay, it's the CRT version of Space Every Most of games are CRT. I think all the games are CRT, or maybe then, maybe less. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe it's not so bad to play. The Amiga version is just a, a, a slideshow. <laughs> Oh, you can choose the two version of Space Area, the Elite and Sega, because this is uh, the cartridge version, so there's more space to. I don't even remember. It was two version of this game. You open the the visual keyboard with the Y button on your controller, but I've uh, made this uh, uh, configuration. It's a custom configuration because by default you have to set manually. But my configuration is set to open the visual keyboard with the Y button to make the, the visual keyboard the transparency with the A button. And on X button, you have the, the space bar. 
to provide the console type experience. So this is the Elite version. I remember that one, I have to change the port again, damn. And this can be annoying. I remember this version, I'm, I'm sure I have this version. Surprising good part that one is very fun to play. Just play and see. But I want to see even the Sega version. I don't think in Europe we never saw the Sega version of this game. So the Sega version is S. Let's try that one too. And uh, let's try the two bot run later. After that, after that. <laughs> the music is the same. Okay, the music is the same. The effects are different. The, the ground seems more defined. the same the little difference on effect yes it's a little better mm. gameplay wise That one should be the cartridge version. That one was on two discs, if I remember. And okay, there's rain, is of course. I remember that one a very crazy amount of loadings. Crazy. And and the fantastic music. Made by made by Jerome Tell, I think. To me that that game at the time well, was basically unplayable because too much loading it was too much for the the little Commodore 64 but uh, on this format emulated it could be totally different I remember a, a very good graphic but too much loading so you see but is very bearable The graphic is much improved compared to 
Outrun It's so annoying you have to to increase the speed with the D-pad and not with the button You enable the <clears throat> the turbo with the fire button but you have still to press the upper checkpoint the upper side of the pad to to accelerate the weather Hurry up! Mm, okay, insomma. <clears throat> I just showed the, the, the games I remember better, my childhood games, the Fist 2, even the Fist 2 is uh, on cartridge, you see the games on cartridge you can recognize the game with the, the CRT. Okay, let's f combo the 64 game, then we play some Amiga. Poor Amiga. What the fuck, the music? I love the music. Watch out! very hard game I remember you have to move on the gigantic map you often you you don't even have any idea how to do and where to go Amiga let's play let, let's play let's play some Amiga come on too much Commodore.
Ah, yes, the music. The music is important. Disposable Hero for CD32. Project X. Project, Project X. The 8B launching screen are back. Okay, we'll test. After that, we test Jaguar. You see, it's the, last, the very last version of Amiberry 3.11. No. Oh, my mistake. It's Jag Jaguar, and this is the, the collection, is not the main set. Jaguar is. Where is Jaguar? Is a uh, AGA. I remember. No, is this D32? Hmm, where is Jaguar? <laughs> I lost Jaguar. Si, oggi è nata l'ultima versione. X220, not Jaguar. It's a little improved, uh, I have to say, compared to the first version of 3. Point. Okay, this is not on the main Amiga set. Houston, we got problem, I don't... I don't find the X220 Jaguar. Where is it? Brutal. Where is it, this game? I don't remember. Brutal. We have a problem. Houston. AGA. If he, if he's included on King, it should be there also there. So I lost this game. Interesting. Because I made the the division, it may chance I lost this game. To remember this game. Total football.
This should be called Jaguar XJ220. Oh, that one has some problem. I think it, it uh, need the frames keep activated. I don't remember this game at all. Fasted for ya with the frame skip. It's like the old FIFA. For the graphics. Very, very similar to FIFA Mega Drive, FIFA 96. The Jaguar thing beats, beats me. I have to find this fucking game. <laughs> He's gone. He's so sad. Okay, I will investigate where, where, where is, where is gone the Jag Jaguar X220. Mm, I think I understand what happened. I will investigate. I think I lost this game in the process of conversion maybe okay okay guys one last game before closing suggest me a game for yes yes is i lost this game but i i think i know the reason There's also FIFA for the Amiga. One FIFA only. For more, mm. Fallen Angel. This seems a um, uh, bit of map like a renegade. Okay, before close, I have to to show you a game with an incredible graphic. A Spanish game. Yeah, just like uh, Renegade or Vigilant, Vigilante.
Give me an unpleasant last game the after the war. Look at the graphic of this game is incredible. Ok, on Amiga, uh, a, a USB keyboard can be a very good friend because unfortunately there's not the visual keyboard We all wait for a libretto version of Amiga emulator with the overlay. You see, this one is um, overscan. I don't know why some games are out of frame. Let's see the bottom of the screen is not right. No. Uh, is this is a little annoying. Okay, now it's correct. Look at the graph, incredible. Let's try to stretch the screen. Oh, the dogs, the dogs are so annoying. Rats, rats everywhere. Scary dogs. Watch out.
And remember a very useful option is the save state for the Commodore and for the Amiga. On the Amiga is save state, just select a slot, then go to save state. And this is very useful because you can then reload the state from here. Okay, guys, it's over for tonight. Thanks for watching this new live streams of uh, Commodore Image 60 gigabyte. Uh, you see, is uh, basically is done. So wait for the release. Not a tutti, buonanotte. Thank you. Ciao, Arumila. I will obey Saral. Franco Frankie and all these beautiful guys of this great community. Ciao, ciao.